everyone, it's Kimberly at General Breeze. Thank you so much for clicking and checking in on this project today. I don't know if I'm really going to post this or not, but I thought perhaps it would be a fun um, little craft demonstration. And I have some others in mind that I want to do, so it's kind of a practice run to tell you the truth. You know, if you know me at all, you know I tend to move more slow on purpose. I like it, and it lets me be kind of mindless and meditative when I'm crafting. On the other hand, that doesn't work really well for YouTube. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do some craft videos and kind of meet you in the middle. So this one today, I am using the Luna Rosa button cards. There's three sheets of nine each, and I've printed out two sheets, one in vellum and one in cardstock. And I am going to put the vellum onto the cardstock, and then in some cases put a button on top, and in other cases not. And this piece I thought I would begin with, because actually it is three different button cards in her kit that together I thought made a really cool journaling card. This one I cut out of this. This was in the middle of this one. And it covered up the flags, which I didn't want to do. I love this button card. It's got a real Civil War feeling. There's probably 13 stars in that shield. So that was when we were 13 colonies. So gosh, this might be representing the Revolutionary War era. Anyway, it's a shield, not a flag, so I won't get ridiculous about it. But with this around here, it just took up too much space. So we're going to do this one in a minute because it's got a special need. But then that left this which I thought looked great on there, and I had already had the whole thing on there. So all in all, I think that's a pretty cool looking journal card. So I'm going to cut that out and see if it works. The vellum sheet and the cardstock sheet were of different button cards. So that means that the size was not equal. So on so my recommendation if you use these button cards is don't cut them out exactly on the cardstock version. Instead, make them as big as you can. You know, there's nine on a sheet, so you can imagine there isn't a lot of space. Sorry. There isn't a lot of space between the cards, but um, just cut it kind of in the middle. Because what I found was that the vellum ones are taller for sure and also wider. And so in some cases, I'm going to let the vellum stick out above. Okay, so the card is actually, you can see, the card is actually this size. But uh, and I hadn't done this before, so I make that made that corner not show, which is too bad. But I mean, it's a beautiful button card all by itself. You could definitely do buttons on there without having to, you know, embellish it in any way. But um, I bought a pack of vellum at the thrift store for a song. It's like five bucks for a lot of sheets. So I was already playing with vellum, and now it seems to be a trend. So I thought, well, let me just go with that. So you can see that the white sticks out below, which I don't like. But in this case, this red will probably cover that up. So let's see. Okay, so the red actually sits... The pink border is still going to show around the red. All right, so I think what I'll do... 
I think I'm going to cut off. I've literally not made one before. I'm doing this the first time with you. So you can see that the cardstock is a little bit shallow there. But I'm going to leave it and then um, add another piece of cardstock to the back for when I put it in the journal. Okay, so that works out well. And the top is also going to work out well. So the cardstock is supporting this entire piece of vellum. And then I'm going to cut around the edges here of the vellum, and I'm not going through the cardstock. And same thing on this. Okay, so I see a little bit of white up here on the cardstock, which I don't like. And I may distress at the end, but I don't want to prematurely distress one part. Hope you guys are having a good Easter holiday weekend. I know a lot of people are thinking of it as a craft weekend too, so that's me. I worked out this morning. I work out on Saturday mornings. I do a circuit. And it's really fun. I love the people I meet with. It's men and women. And it changes up every month. So we had a new one this... Uh, I think... Hmm. Yeah, it was a new one this Saturday. Okay. So here we go. We're going to put that on there. Ooh. It's really pretty without a third coat. I agree. It really is. But I like the third layer. So I'm going to use our glitter glue. And because this tends to be the smaller part, I'm going to have glue on it. And then wherever the top layer goes over, it will be freestanding, but that's okay. I can still see a little white, which is really bothering me. And I don't have excellent scissors like Rachel's. My gosh, Rachel's looks so incredible. Like they could slice anything. Okay. So the important thing here is that it's as supported as possible. That's what I'm going for. Support. So you can see it's cut on a curve. Again, I didn't realize that I was going to run into the difference of the sizes. So that's just what happened. And that's okay. You might be able to be more exact with this, you know, video illustration. And then, let's see, I'm going to put a little more glue on there. Oops, let's see. A little more glue here. It's funny. Maybe it takes more glue to glue down vellum. But I thought I put plenty. Wendy assured me in her video, us, that the vellum that the uh, our glitter glue would not show through. So I'm using it on her recommendation. Let's see, where's my get that glue really down there. Okay. And then we're going to put this one on top. And some of the pink will still show. I just think it's really pretty. Because I don't know if you can tell so much on the video screen, but close up you can tell there's a lot of layers. And I like that. So I will glue this on here and here. I was happy to see that the Pope was able to be, you know, 
be available to the people doing the services. He's in a wheelchair, but he's doing pretty well. Nothing serious. He had bronchitis. Of course, when you're that old, anything can turn, but I thought, oh, that's so great that he doesn't have to miss Miss Easter and all the crowds that come to the services to hear him speak. It's heartwarming to see him on the news. Okay, there we go. And there we go. I feel bad for any of you that are sick right now. I know there's a lot of people on Instagram that have shared that they're not feeling well. And I'm really sorry to hear that. It's so crappy to feel bad. I hate feeling sick. Even a cold is such a downer. So I really hope that you all feel better very, very soon. Okay, there we go. And now I can see I need to put a little bit of distress ink up there. I don't really want to distress it. I just kind of want to take away that white. You know what I mean? Okay, there we go. So can you appreciate all those layers? I love this. I might take off the pink edge. I might do that. I'll see what journal it goes in. I am not going to add a button. Although, it's a button card, I, I just think it's got a lot going on, and I don't want to miss that Cupid. So, there you go. And what I will do is add another piece of paper to the back to, to make it fully. And then if I cut this off, it may not even be necessary. But I want to see where it's going to go. Yeah, cute, huh? Just sweet. It could be paper clipped in, or it could be in a pocket. All right, so that's one. So then we have this one. I love this card, exactly as it is. Just love it. Can you see how cute that is? Love, love, love. And then, oh, this is another threesome. Yeah, so this, I am going to cut off the last row. This is really cute, just like that. And then this is even cuter. And then I thought about skipping the card and just doing this. But I need the card to put a button on. And the button I'm thinking about putting on would either be this one or this one. I love this one. It makes me think of Versailles. I've got a whole bag of these buttons. And some are more troubled more grunged up than others. This one has the, like, prism. Can you see that? There's like a prism of color. And I think one of these is nearly perfect. Oh, yeah, I already cut the back off of it. There we go. It becomes a star, no doubt about it. Your, mind, your eye goes right to that. But I don't know. It has a Versailles feeling to me, just over the top. Now, the way that I, I deal with buttons that have plastic backs is I take these plier kind of jewelry pieces, and you have to cut off, or I, I have to cut off one at a time. And still, there's a little bit sticking up. As long as it's not too high, it is kind of nice to have it a little bit above. So what do you think about that? 
That just blends right in. Interesting, huh? That just blends right in. And then you look at the frame and the layers. This one. You know what? Maybe it needs more than one. Let me see. Got Definitely have more than one. Huh. Here we go. I've got a lot of these. These are vintage. I bought them mixed up with a bag of a whole bunch of buttons that were vintage at a thrift store. And they can't be that vintage because they're plastic. So I don't know. If I was a button expert, then I would know the age that plastic came around. But I'm guessing 50s, right? Post-war. Polyester fabric came around in the 40s, so maybe the buttons were around in the 40s. Okay, so if we do two... This way. I don't know. Nothing's really looking good to me. How about like that? I don't know. This just might be a journaling card again. It's so pretty. Huh. Weird. I think it's going to have to be a journaling card. Unless I go with this great big button. These are very tiny button cards. Well, tiny, maybe not tiny. But they're, they're small. So they don't really require. Well, that's kind of pretty. Covers up the word Paris, but that's... I like that. I think that's the answer. Let's try this one up here. That's pretty also. Huh. Yeah, that's very pretty also. And you know what? It takes up less space. And you can see the word Paris behind here. And you can see enough of the PA to think it's going to be Paris. Maybe I'll do that one. I wish you guys could talk. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Okay. I mean, it really could just be a journaling card. But these lay pretty flat, and I want to use my buttons. So, all right, so I'm going to leave that. I am going to cut the, t I'm going to work from the top down on this one, because this will be the top layer. So, we are having sun and warmer weather in Southern California. Yes, indeed. We haven't had rain in probably two weeks. And so that's amazing. <laughs> I don't think we've gone two weeks since the beginning of the year without water. Maybe it's been three. No, I think it's been two. And everything's green and gorgeous. Weeds are everywhere. The weed situation is serious. I was out weeding a little earlier. Just trying to pull them up by hand. I should have gone out. I mean, my bare hands, no gloves. And I should have gone out right after the rains when it's so soft that it's easy to pull them up. So I hope you guys are also experiencing warm weather. It's time. I'm still cutting off the white.
so this, I, I don't know if I told you this in another video, but the snow is so high in the nearby mountains of California. The further mountains from me are astronomically higher and therefore more snow. But the nearby mountains to me where you can go for the day, they are going to be open until July because there is so much snow on their mountains. And they've been closed during this incredible rainy season because the snow is so high. You know, there's no, there's no, you can't snow because the snow is too high. So you're like, you jump down off a lift, which can be, which is shortly above the ground, and you're, and you're going to be, you know, in snow over your head. Serious stuff. Okay. Oops, I still see white. Okay. All right, so then this is going to go on top of here. And then this is going to go behind. And really, nothing of this fabulous card shows. So in a way, I could use any card. I really could. Here it is as a playing card. And then here it is with this fabulous card. Can't even tell. This card is so fabulous because I love the stitching over the edges to make that square. I think I'm just going to use this. And it's heavy duty, so I won't have to back it. I'll have to use an awl. I have a pokey tool. Where did I put that pokey tool? This. This might go through it all. Anyway, let's just move on. Let's put this glue. I think the key on vellum is getting the glue really, really close to the edge. And then this needs to go. Okay, right in the middle. All right, good. Okay. You know, I don't think you need to get these journaling cards per se. I think you could just cut wonderful pieces of your own favorite digitals and add some words to the top and print them on vellum. I don't think there's any limit to the kinds of layering that you could do. But they are fun. I do think these are really fun to play with. Boy, a little bit of glue really goes a long way here. All right, so now I'm going to glue it on here, and I'll cut it after, and that way all the lines will be the same. Okay, given that this is quite wet, I'm going to let it sit, but take a look at it. Isn't it fabulous? I love it. I love it. And then this is going to go right there on the top. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, that's going to be great. Okay, so we've got this. And this. You can see the big difference in the size. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Okay, so this one, this is going to be tricky, so I'll share it with you. These button cards, these buttons, these incredible, fabulous buttons. Let's see. I've got my button box here. 
so I yeah I was able to purchase these at her store recently and they're all connected with this wire and the backs are the most interesting part so I didn't feel like having it like that was interesting because I love you know seeing who made it and with six cents each I think that's so cool so I thought I will take it off turn it around because the button was on this side turn it around and stick the wire up from the back like it was and connect the button on that side because it's not really I can't cut it it's going to have to be in there no matter what but I am going to put a little bit of distressing on this card alright so I'm going to put holes in here because the wire is going to go up from the back okay I hope this works I have no idea you're seeing it for the first time just like me to get both ends of the staple. Oh my goodness. Oh, this idea may not work very well. But I, I would work at it forever if I was alone. Feeling bad that you're having to watch. And I won't edit. If I edit, I'll never get anything up on YouTube. So I've got to do it in the time I have free. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, I feel like I have it. Oh, come on. Go through. Oh, this is tricky. This is super tricky. Oh, there it is. Okay, yay. All right. Whew. All right. It's because they're bent. They're curved. And they're super old. So if I straighten them, they could break. So I'm sort of at their peril. Oh, I think it's going to be tricky to get this next one on. You know what? I think you got the drift. I'm going to somehow get these through this hole and then around this. That may be impossible, but that's my goal. So we'll put this one aside because I don't think it's going to be all that interesting. 
Okay. Well, this is an easy one. This is kind of a funny card in that it's tall and narrow. So I, and the color isn't, having this show through wasn't really pretty on anything. So then I found this button. It's in a plastic bag. It's got a plastic back. And it looks like a little, you know, chain. So I was thinking, maybe this would be cute to sew, to stitch right along there. Or maybe right below. Well, in either case, it could never be opened. But you know how we get labels attached to our clothing and they have a button package that's part of it? So I just thought maybe this would be a good one to do that with. But it makes it very modern. So I don't know. But that's my thought on that one. So I don't want to do anything until I know where it's going to go. All right, so then we have this guy. This is a, a single. So this is one of the cards, and this is one of the tops. All right, so they're not tops. They're three sheets of buttonholes. So this one then goes really well over it. Oh, I think it's so pretty. And again, it's so pretty, I'm not entirely sure that it needs a button. So let's cut it down to size. the closest fitting one I've done. I am going to take it. Ship at the bottom. Oh, oh. Okay. Hold on. This glue dries very quickly in our weather. So let's see if that holds. Oh, oh. Oh, I think this is beautiful. I just printed on a regular inject printer. This is not any special Valium or tracing paper. It's just Valium. A Valium. Valium. <laughs> oh my God. And I bought it at a thrift store, so I don't know what the pounds are, but it's pretty, it's a pretty flexible weight, typewriter weight. Okay, looking good, looking good. I think this one will need some distressing. And, um, you know, maybe embellishing it with something else. so pretty. I love how it goes up there behind. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to use some stress ink. Yeah, that looks really good. Honestly, there's a lot going on here. I don't know where a, a button would go. I just, I can't see it. You know, a button would have to be right in the middle of the flowers, and I don't know. 
I think the flowers should be the center. So I'm thinking maybe, you know, a piece of lace at the top. Hold on. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh. I love that. I love that. It looks like a little crown. Okay, so let's put and this lace is from France. So it even goes with the idea on the card. Okay. Oh, isn't that cute? It's just super cute. That is so cute. That is really cute. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see what else we've got here. I am trying to keep my laces organized because I am fortunate to have a lot and I feel like I just don't see it if it's not organized to some extent. And my trolley, if you remember, I had a trolley full of laces, and I've gotten so many cents. So it's an ongoing battle to, to keep everything on cards and on certain trays and in certain containers. And I just want to, you know, be lazy and not do it, but I'm doing it. Okay, so far. All right, so now I love this one. Look at that gorgeous card. And because it's tall and very thin, it was very limiting what I could put it on. So this one just would fit barely because I cut that as a curve. So when you cut yours out, just don't do what I did. I didn't know. There you go. I think that card works and there's room for a button. Another way I could do it was upside down. And that adds interest because you can read what's on there. The other way, there's no interest. But I think this is so pretty. Well, let's try it on here. See, it's so long, it's totally off the paper. So basically, you're losing that, the cute label and these cute corners. There's numbers over here. So it's kind of grunged up with those numbers. So I think it goes well with that. So I am going to cut this first. And I think... You know what? I could cut this thin. I could cut it right at the frame, right outside the frame. And then I'd be inside of this design. I'm going to do that. I'm going to, knowing it's paper and I can print it again, I am going to try out this idea. Okay. Okay. So 
I cut it as small as I could on <clears throat> the top, the bottom, and the sides. And then let's see if we can get some more of this cute frame in. Okay, if I cut off Made in France, it's still, the bow is still at the top. Darn it. You know, the bow will still stick out. So it's kind of a choice. It's kind of a choice. Do I keep the bow on the top and get rid of this bottom? Or do I leave the bottom and get rid of the bow? Oh, I can do that without it really being evident that I did it. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, so to be sure that I make it accurate, I know that's a bad word in the junk journal community. Okay. I'm not saying perfectionistic, because God knows I'm not perfect in the things I attempt to do well. But um, but there is a level of accuracy that I enjoy. And um, I don't really want to change that. I like I like a certain amount of precision, symmetry, that kind of thing. Not perfection, but just Sort of an equalness. So this is going to go up here. This is going to go here. And this is going to go like that. Okay. My husband made this for me. Long, long time ago. It was for quilting. You do it on the seam to flatten out the fabric where you had it facing each other to sew it. Okay, so let's cut this off and see what we have. So I'm going to cut on the outside on the black. So I'm on the cardboard only. Cardstock. And... I'll distress it. Okay, yeah, definitely. Oh, these scissors are old. And they just do not. Okay, so you can see where I'm having trouble. Like that white showing is just not okay. So, you know, I probably could have darkened it with distress, but I didn't think of it, so I knew I'd lose some of the bow. Not the end of the world. Oh, but that white. Okay. Let's see what ink will do. Oh, I love it. My sponge applicator is shot. Little flakes are coming off. Oh, look, isn't that cute? So then, if we were to put a button on this, since this great big space is available, <clears throat> I was thinking, because I love it so much, <clears throat> I was thinking of rhinestones. I know that that's probably not necessary, because it's grunged up, but I like that juxtaposition, and I love these rhinestone things. They're not, they're cheap. Cheap rhinestones, believe me. So I'm not using jewelry. <clears throat> I bought these from Amazon. Let's see. I mean, that's just so adorable. 
That's pretty. cute. I think that guy wins. I think he wins. I don't know why I'm calling it a he. It doesn't have a gender. <laughs> oh man. And it's just too big. I have some little tinies. Cute, but they're really. Let me see. Oh my gosh. What? These little bags. There we go. Okay, so if I did these little bitties. statement piece is the way to go. I hope you guys agree. I might add something down here. I think it's really cute. Okay, I'm going to use um... Ah! Three in one beacon. That's the one I prefer over fabric tack. It works with fabric just fine. I saw both here, but I I feel like this one stays easier to push out of the bottle. The other one seems to get harder in the bottle. And when I tried this one, I didn't have any problem. So that's how I came to that decision. There we go. All right. Oh. So beautiful. Oh, man, I'm so glad I got to use a rhinestone. I've been having these around and waiting. Let's see. Got another one. What's our time like? What are we on? Oh, my gosh. Oh, well. You could hang up. You don't have to hang in. Okay. So this is so cute all by itself. A great button card. And this... I thought went beautifully over it. Beautifully. And then I was thinking either this whoop this button flat or this button flat. That button seemed This button's thicker, and that button's thinner. So for that reason alone, I think this is the better way to go. It's sticking up just a little higher than this ridge is. You know what? I don't even have any light on. This is just the sunlight coming in. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time since that's been doable. That's a good sign. 
I got up super early this morning because it was so bright outside already. And I wanted to do a live on Facebook thing and then go to the gym. So it was an early, early morning and I think it was on my mind. All right, so then that's going to go like that. What do you think? Cute, huh? Sort of energy. You know, it feels like there's energy in that button. I tried little buttons down here, but I didn't feel like. With no buttons, it just looks like it really needs a button. Bouton. So... That's what I'm going to do. So that's that one, which I will do right after. And then one more to share with you is this guy. And he doesn't have a back. Now let's see, because this is a back I didn't have as an option before. So let's see. Okay, so he would fit pretty well. I'd have to cut off the very top, but... He would fit on there, but I don't see the card adding anything. This fabulous card adding nothing to this also fabulous vellum. So that's not going to work. All right, so this piece I thought looked looked good. I don't. It won't be for buttons. This is Lisa and Olive, and I, I think it would look really cute, and I would use my rusty staples and cut it down to size, and I think it'd be just darling, but it's very flimsy. So I had these cut out from a long time ago with um, antique papery, and so I thought I would try some of these as possibilities underneath this before putting it on here. I still want it to be flippable. Okay, so that doesn't do a thing. You can't even tell there's something under it. Can't really see anything under that. My door just opened. Oh, my cat might be there. Okay. Outdoor. The outdoor door. Okay, so this color coming through on this one. Can you see the pink? There, there, there. And it's heavy duty. And it's already backed. Oh, I think this is my answer. Yeah. I can fit top to bottom. Yeah, this is it. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So I think what I'll do is glue this on. I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going to glue it down. And then I will cut that to meet it. you hear somebody <laughs> trying to start their engine? So then, if we glue this onto here, it will be sticking out. I like it. I, I like it a lot, sticking out. Okay. I 
There's a nice cool breeze coming through the door that opened up and that darn car is causing all that noise. Take away the serenity of it. Because I think it's very, very pretty. But a little flat. Now it's got some color behind it. I think it's better. All right. So we have a little bit of white and black sticking out here. And, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I think I'm going to round the corners. I would cut off the sides. Yeah, I think I'm not going to use this. And then this can be a journaling card because it's zoomed to right. Cute. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you everything one more time. And hopefully you're motivated to do this. Again, vellum's a trend, so it's not. I'm not the only person showing stuff like this, but I think this is. A cute overlay with it. So we got the one we just did. We've got this beautiful one, Versailles. And we've got this beauty. Love that. And this is the first one we did together, which I'm going to have to do a new back on or cut off all the pink, but I, I kind of like the pink showing, so. See that cute Cupid? And then we have this one that I have yet to cut out that will go like that. Oh, I think that's beautiful. And then the back will be, that looks okay. Looks like kind of a undulating. In real life, it's got sort of a beige undulating on it, so I think it's good. So yeah, I wanted to show you this one again. I didn't glue it, but this one. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. If you have any thoughts about how we could do these, you know, differently, or what other things to add, I may come up with something when I go to put it in a journal when it has a home, but. For right now, I think they're good. Um, yeah, put it in the comments. I would love that. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and like it. I appreciate that so much. So take care. Have a great rest of your weekend. And I will talk with you soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.